got my blue mug and my new mouse. This has been a game changer. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Don't you hate when the postman comes by and you think he has a package for you, but he doesn't? <laughs> so about three, four months in, my like official unschool update. I'm actually trying to discipline myself to sit down and write about it because I really want to do a much better job documenting our purpose-driven unschools. Overall, it's been really good. I feel like we've been unschooling all along. <laughs> Our days have just been so purposeful. We're not letting checklists and schedules and routines kind of get in the way of us focusing in on what is most important to us. I feel like all of these many, many months of thinking about how we would implement this the best um, is paying off. One of the things that you think when it concerns unschool is that it is a very hands-off approach and while I'm pretty sure that there are unschoolers out there that are very hands-off, but what I found for us to be true is that it, it is requiring even more effort and intention because I want to make sure that resources are available to them, that we're connecting those dots, that we're having those conversations, like much more uh, involved and intentional than the way we've done things in the past. And it's a really good thing, but sometimes it can be a little bit um, potentially overwhelming if I'm not careful. I found that I've had to move with a lot more boundaries in my life to make sure that I'm protecting what's most important to us. And that's been a really, really good thing. I've been a lot more intentional about business and making sure that things are not taking up more space than you intend them to. I feel like a lot of these last few months has been preparation just to figure out like how am I going to document things, how would I approach certain situations, uh, how am I going to communicate these things to them, how we are going to adapt unschool into our lives. This part is kind of necessary because you spend so much time providing a certain type of structure in homeschool that you kind of have to de-school even though we've never been to school <laughs> but when you start off you start off with those schedules and those routines adapting school at home which is fine it's 100 percent i feel like part of the process just learning what those differences are that's just the nature of how you know school and education to be so I feel like even though we've had our kids home from the very beginning, there's still like a de-schooling process for us as, as parents. So yeah, it's been really, really good. Uh, we've been talking about things like the Emancipation Proclamation, the Westward Expansion, talking all about molecular geometry. I knew that going into this, it was going to be challenging for me in that um, I love having a plan. I think one thing that I've found out is that although we unschool, your friend likes to plan a lot. <laughs> That's okay. So uh, in the beginning, I tried to abandon the plans altogether. And I very quickly realized that I needed to have a plan, even if there was no set plan for the kids to have to adhere to, I still needed to have a structure or a routine that I followed in order to make sure that um, I was able to address these different things that could come up uh, throughout the day. I think that deciding for the focal point of our unschool to be our homeschool library, that was big for us. Um, I feel like that gave us a starting point to really drive in this idea of being a journalist and researching and, you know, just really exploring and discovering things within the walls of our own home. 
I thought we were going to be doing a lot more um, being out and about in the world and letting that lead our lessons. And with the whole of 2020, that kind of changed. But it was okay. It was okay because I feel like there's been a lot of lessons that we've learned along the way. We've had um, quite a bit of opportunities kind of present themselves lately uh, that has really made me feel like this dreaming of what our purpose is together as a family and in homeschool just may not be so lofty after all. And um, hopefully I'll get to talk more about those things uh, in the future. But it was really cool to see a lot of those things come together. The kids and I had a bit of a meetings together as a family to chat about um, content creation, which that's kind of all I can say right now. But that was fun to do together. Um, so yeah, Abraham Lincoln, the Emancipation Proclamation, the Westford Expansion, um, Adams and their molecular geometry. Savannah is reading all about weather and climate change. I feel like releasing some of those expectations has made room for more of what we want in our days and in our life. Um, we just got started with our first research project of the year and we got other family members involved in voting and um, trying to select their first topics that they're going to choose for their research project and that was just a lot of fun. Um, just blending those goals we have for our relationships with our families and friends along with our research and our studies. It just feels really good. <laughs> it feels really good. I guess it's like you have this idea in your head of how something may work out and then there's all these fears that surround it. Just being able to push through those frustrations and fears. So some of the things that we are getting around to right now is getting full on started with our newspaper, um, our cookbook, um, designing our clubhouse build. These are things that we need to like more heavily jump into now that we've gotten like the schedule and the rhythm portion of things done. Um, organizing the room was like so important. <laughs> Just having those little dedicated spaces um, under which they provide some inspiration for us throughout our day has been so like the best. <laughs> it has been the absolute best because there is that fear that says, okay, well, if you just leave them to their own devices, how will they be inspired to do a bit more? And I think that setting up our room in the way in which I have, which I talk a lot more about how I build stations around our room and around our home in general with our patron fam, but that has paid off so very well just having spots where there are certain resources they can they know they can go and grab certain um, supplies they know they can go and grab whenever an idea strikes um, it's just been really good I think also and building up our printables um, has been a great addition to our unschool because I wanted to be able to document properly so that I can keep a good account for what they're learning and how they're growing and how their writing is evolving and changing and that type of thing. So I wanted to have something, I knew I wanted to have, um, I knew that a big part of being this unschool mom for me was having structure around how I document things. So that's like major <laughs> for us right now just loosely planning and just staying on top of my documentation which is why I'm doing this three months in four months in unschool update yeah but it's been really good really good so the kids are excited to jump even further into their research projects we're just continuing to bring more creativity uh, when it comes to resources. I had quite a bit of resources already for Cameron because he chose for his research project, he's chosen atoms and molecular geometry. So I had quite a bit of things that he could pull from already here. And then I also had quite a bit for Savannah because she has chosen oceans and climate change. Uh, but Kendall, he chose birds and I didn't have quite as many resources 
inside of like our homeschool library so that was a little challenging in that I wanted to go and buy all the things but instead I have started logging our resources whether they be physical or digital and that has been a game changer for us because I was able to go in and search using my Evernote um, and find the things that I did have that would at least give us a little bit of a jump start when he's jumping into his research for birds <laughs> his bird research. So we're just learning. We're just learning along the way how to use the tools that we have and the resources we have to add to our studies and our research throughout the day. So it's been good. One thing that has really benefited me throughout our days and kind of goes along the same vein of documenting has been um, to voice record. So throughout the day, um, I just kind of do a little voice recording just to take note of things that they've said, questions that they've asked, because you can't get to it all. And when you're in the thick of the day, there's so many things that that come to your attention or that happen that you want to keep note of. So I think voice memos for me have been amazing. And then when I get to sit down and write up my blog post or my update, whatever I'm going to do or whatever I'm going to use to try to document the day um, or the week, then I can just go back to the voice memos and they'll help jog my memory and get me started on any anything that I would like to add to our next week of school. I think that's it. Yeah, I don't want this to be too rambly. I just know that we're three, four months into unschool and feeling very, very confident that this was the way for us. Um, I definitely also see how it would be very important for me to make sure that my attentions are focused on how we are living and learning together because that's the type of result that um, that I want to get. Um, I also had a bit of a breakthrough in our math studies and our math adventures so as I keep pushing through that I'll keep taking note and hopefully I'll have something really good to share um, about that. But yeah, that's been our update for Unschool and Life lately. Hey, bud. Hi. <laughs> Have you been enjoying our Unschool days? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So every night he pretty much says, oh, I can't wait for school tomorrow. I like to read my dictionary. You do. Oh, yeah. I have to link that dictionary because it's really cute. I like it a lot. I'm glad you like it, too. <laughs> Kendall likes all the extra cuddles. So, yeah, life really is very full of lessons. So we live and we learn. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe. subscribe.